Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On the road is on the air. It's the man in the backward hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. And today I am at Taco Bell on King Street here in my hometown, the AX, Alexandria, Virginia. And today I'm going to try their new monstrosity of a creation, which is known as their XXL nachos. One pound of steak nachos with, I think, three different types of shredded cheese. Uh, you've got your uh, liquid cheese sauce, which I've, you know, come to like less and less as I've gotten older for whatever reason. But, you know, on nachos it's still perfectly acceptable. It's also got pico de gallo, which is a rather sloppy looking pico de gallo. Uh, you got some, what is that, Gua guacamole, which I meant to uh, ask them to 86, but I forgot to ask them that, so it's my fault. And then there's some uh, sour cream. I also added both salsa verde and fire sauce from the border salsa collection over there at the, uh, you know, fixings counter or whatever. They also picked up their brand new cookie uh, cookie sandwich, which is part of their new dessert line, uh, which also includes the caramel apple empanada, which actually we've had around here for quite some time, I think about five years, and also a churro. Um, I guess they just decided they're not going to bring back the cinnamon crispers. Anyway, so taking a look, this is a lot of nachos. There is a fair amount of steak on there. As usual, the topping disbursement at Taco Bell can be kind of haphazard as, you know, these chips over here, they don't have a whole lot of crap on them, but, you know, everything's basically in the middle for the most part, all sort of lumped up in there. So, let me go ahead and find an area where I'm going to grab a, the best, you know, bit of nachos here. I guess this looks like a pretty decent area, and it's already getting soggy, so I better hurry up. There's no steak on there, so I'm going to grab the steak with my hand. I'm nasty. Anyway... The bag is kind of mundane, so why don't you guys take a look at my Baja Blast while I take a bite. And now the cookie sandwich, which appears to be chocolate chip cookies cut into a wedge with some kind of fluff in the middle, cream or hydrogenated oil or some such stuff. Go ahead and take a look at the bag while I take a bite. All I have to say about the nachos is it's basically the same old, same old as Taco Bell normally does. Um, I don't know why these are suddenly funny here. But anyway, as Taco Bell normally does, you've got a uh, preponderance of stuff that they already have on their menu that they sort of reconfigured and tried to put into something else. And, you know, this isn't anything new at all. They've had this on their menu before. I think the XXL uh, may be the largest version they've had. Uh, it's an ass load of nachos, don't get me wrong, and sometimes that's a good thing, but I'm definitely not eating all 1,200 calories of these nachos. I'm um, going to have, you know, quite a few of them, and then they'll get soggy and nasty, and that'll be the end of it. Um, in terms of ori originality, not a whole lot there. Hey, man, I'm still waiting for the damn Cool Ranch Dorito Taco, okay? You said it was coming in the fall. The fall's almost over. What are you doing? Waiting for the, um... Do the big rib to come out in a few weeks here so you can go head to head with that legend? I don't think so, guys. Anyway, so uh, the uh, cookie uh, sandwich was actually the highlight of this experience. A nice chewy cookie, very creamy, uh, white creamy junk on the middle on the inside there. A nice tasty dessert for about $1.29. I'm giving that a thumbs up. As for the uh, nachos, half a thumb up just because they're not very original. They're just good old nachos, not that big of a deal. Anyway, so that being said, this is Brandon from the SAS saying, in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.